What is up Core Addicts? So a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video as to how much the content in this new San Andreas Mercenaries update is going to cost. Obviously the update is coming out on Tuesday, June 13th for those of you who don't know. So in this video I'm going to be making some predictions and estimates based on the current GTA economy and the prices of similar recent content as well. So this video will be broken up into a few parts. The properties, the cars, the aircrafts, the upgrades, the weapons, and of course the clothing. So starting off with the properties, there doesn't seem to be any new ones in this DLC by the looks of it. We're utilizing what appears to be the hangar and then customize the Avenger with the new upgrades. Now I'm sure most of you already own the hangar and the Avenger, so we're just going to be calculating the Avenger upgrades here. So from what Rockstar has confirmed so far and what we've seen in the trailer, we will have the Operations Terminal as an upgrade, which is where you're going to be able to host the new missions for this update, plus the weapons upgrades for the Avenger, and a thruster storage spot. I'm going to guess about 1.5 million for all the upgrades. Honestly, I think the Operations Terminal will either be very cheap or free, but obviously the weapon upgrades will be pretty expensive and that thruster storage spot as well. Now let's say you don't own an Avenger, add about $4 million to my estimate, and if you don't own a hangar, add about another $2.5 million for that. Moving on to the vehicles, at the time of this recording we have 8 new ones that have been teased by Rockstar, so let's start off with the cars and then we're going to work our way to the aircrafts. So the first vehicle, as we all know, is the Bravado Electric Muscle Car, which is based on the Dodge Charger EV, and it appears to offer Imani Tech, which definitely is going to make it even more expensive. Now, I think the most comparable vehicle to this would obviously be the Buffalo STX, which costs about $2.1 million. Now, honestly, I'm not sure if this new electric one is going to be cheaper or more expensive than the STX, so I'm going to price it at about $2 million. I think that's a pretty good estimate. Moving on to our second car, we have the Hot Ring Gauntlet. This one is primarily based on the Dodge Challenger NASCAR. So I think the best comparable vehicle price-wise for this is the Hot Ring Everon, which was priced at about $1.8 million. And I'd probably say the Gauntlet would be a little more expensive, being priced at about $1.9 million. Moving along to our third vehicle, the Meibatsu Off-Roader, is primarily based on the Mitsubishi Pajero Evo, and I think the most comparable vehicle in terms of price to this one would be the Karen Boar. But obviously the Meibatsu would definitely be more expensive, I'm going to estimate about $1.5 million for this one. Next up, on to our fifth car, which was recently teased by Rockstar in the Vinewood Car Club Newswire post. So it's the Garotti sports car. This one is primarily based on the Ferrari Roma. And I think the most comparable vehicle to this price wise would be the Godzita. So this one has a price of just under 1.8 million. However, I think the Ferrari will be a little cheaper. I'm gonna estimate about 1.6 million for this one. Continuing to our fourth vehicle, the crazy off-roader. Now at first I thought it was a trophy truck, but it's actually based on the Brenthal Class 1 buggy, so it's a buggy, not a trophy truck. And I think the most comparable vehicle to this price-wise will be the Draugr. That one was priced at just under $1.9 million. I definitely think this new one will be cheaper though, I'm going to estimate about $1.7 million. Moving on to the aircrafts, we have the jet, which Rockstar has confirmed the name of as the F-160 Raiju. This one is primarily based on the F-35 mixed with the YF-23. This jet has a stealth function, cannons, homing missiles, and vertical takeoff on top of everything, so it's not going to be cheap. The best aircraft to compare this to are obviously the Hydra at 4 million and the laser at 6.5 million. Now I think we can all agree here that this new jet is not going to be cheaper than the laser. So it has to be at least 7 million dollars and I'm pretty sure Rockstar is going to keep it under 9 million though. So honestly I think 8 million is a pretty realistic estimate for this one. 
I know some people think it's going to be like 5 million. I personally just don't see it being cheaper than the laser, but that's just me. Moving along to our second aircraft, we have the prop plane, which is inspired from the Beagle from San Andreas and is primarily based on the DHC-6 Twin Otter. I think the most comparable one in terms of price to that plane is going to be the Mogul, and that one has a price of about 3.1 million, but we're still unsure if this new one is gonna have weapons or not. The Mogul is obviously weaponized, has weapon options, so I'm pretty sure this one will be a lot cheaper than the Mogul at about 2.5 million. And lastly, we have the weaponized variant of the Kanata. So this one would be based on the MD Helicopter's 969 Twin Attack. Now in terms of pricing, the regular Kanata is about 2.45 million, and obviously the weaponized variant is gonna be a lot more expensive. So I estimate about 2.9 million for the weaponized Kanata. Now we also have to factor in the upgrades for these five cars and three aircrafts. Usually it costs about 300,000 to max out a car, just a rough estimate there, and about three to $400,000 to max out an aircraft depending on the weapons. So I'm gonna estimate about 3 million to fully upgrade these eight new vehicles. Moving on to the weapons, we only have one new weapon confirmed, which is the Tactical SMG and it looks to be based on an MP9. I estimate about 300,000 for this one with the upgrades. And lastly, in terms of clothing, we usually get a few different articles of clothing for each DLC, and usually the outfits are the more expensive ones, especially when they're priced at like 100,000. So I'm gonna guess about $1 million to buy all the potential new clothes and accessories. So, the grand total I'm estimating for the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC, only for day one content, is between 25 to 30 million dollars, again, to buy and max out every single item in the update on day one. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering what about the drip feed content. So, we're probably going to have about 10 more vehicles, as Rockstar typically releases a total between 15 to 18 vehicles for the entire DLC. So we have eight confirmed so far, that leaves about another 10. So you can pretty much add another 20 million to that with upgrades and everything. So that makes the grand total for the entire DLC between 45 to 50 million dollars. Again, that's a rough estimate. Now I know this range sort of sounds crazy, but you have to remember that there are aircrafts mixed in this update and of course Rockstar's crazy inflation which just gets worse and worse every year I think this is a pretty solid estimate so again guys definitely try to get as much money as you can for this DLC and either way if you only plan on buying just a new jet and maybe one car plus upgrades maybe the new gun you're still gonna need about 10 million dollars to buy those and, and fully upgrade them so if you don't have at least 10 million dollars in GTA, I definitely get on that grind this weekend. But anyways guys, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.